Hey, what's up YouTube? Mark here, back with another video, the first one in 2017. And yeah, I'm glad to be back here, so yeah, I enjoyed doing these videos and uh, yeah. Hopefully 2017 will be as good as 2016 or even better, I hope better, but you know what happens, I do my best and uh, yeah, try to be uh, more informative and yeah, as possible and show you great stuff, but uh, we'll see what happens where, where this uh, year goes and um, yeah, first of all I want uh, everyone Give the best wishes for 2017 that you have a great year, successful year, a healthy year, and um, I wish you all guys all the best. And um, yeah, hopefully, it will be a nice year. Um, too bad it already started with some terrorist attack already, but yeah, I guess you have to live with this. And um, don't hope anyone gets involved in that or whatever. Um, and everybody has a nice life uh, from now on. Um, but I wish everyone the best, uh, except for those fucking terrorists, of course. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, the, the first video of this, of this year will be a uh, CD update. I thought it would be a final, it will be a final, I have a few final already even for the next video, but um, I start off with a CD update because I got the stuff earlier than the final stuff, so yeah, I'm gonna do a CD update. Um, I got four CDs for you guys, and um, most albums are in the black metal vein, so yes. I hope you enjoy it anyways, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. The first one I want to show you is from End Oceans, and this is the Symphony of I and the, or of, uh, the Circle of O. Uh, yeah, very great album, released in 1999 by Seasons of Mist. And this is a Finnish uh, symphonic black metal band. The front, the back. The inside a band which under uh, went a lot of name changes and even some music style uh, uh, changes. So yeah. Um, this album is still uh, this is the second album and this album and the first album they made uh, were a symphonic black metal band. And with the third album and God, they began to experiment with some uh, and just peel stuff and stuff like that. And um, they made another album after that which called, was called Cypher. Um, in 2015 they changed the name again in Half of Unit and in 2013. Changed the name and style. They're now called Faster Day and they make like, death metal. Yeah, I think they're doing uh, a lot of changes and do things they ever wanted to do. So yeah, and it's yeah, I can say if you change a lot, change in name. Yeah, I can understand that. So yeah, um, a lot of people uh, associate, associate some band names with some certain music styles they make in the past and. I can understand they changed their name because of that, and um, yeah. Anyways, this is a, a fucking great album, and definitely can recommend you this uh, if you like symphonic black metal. It's raw, it's yeah, yeah, nice people stuff, uh, nice vocals, uh, fast drumming. Um, yeah, it's amazing stuff. So yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, I probably uh, will dig this. Uh, yeah, pretty nice release. And oceans with the symmetry of I and the circle of O. Great album. Then an album. Not, not everyone likes, but I like it. It's not the best album in my opinion, of course, but uh, yeah. 
I still enjoy it. Uh, I'm talking about normal bar form and this is the cult is alive. And a lot of people say it's more punkier uh, stuff. I hear some punk influence in it, indeed. And uh, it's, for, to me it's more like a Modred playing black metal. That's my opinion. Um, if you like Modred and if you like black metal, you can like this, I think. Um, yeah, pretty nice stuff. It comes in a slipcase. As you guys can see, it's the back of the slipcase. And the back of the sleeves. This is just the same. This is the inside with the CD and stuff. And I'm just going to show you the booklets. Pretty thick booklets. Nice pictures in it. The lyrics, uh, band members, support nocturnal calls or families. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Looking okay, hard. Like I said, the more motorish and um, black metal sounds, but the sound is still raw. It's polished as the previous albums and yeah, it's a 12 album released by Peaceful Records and what can I say more um, yeah I think it's pretty fun to listen to it's pretty up tempo has some nice uh, stuff uh, uh, nice songs and um, I can't say it's a bad album. It's not my favorite, like I said. It's still like the earlier stuff, the black metal years, and still side journey, of course. But um, yeah, I can't say it's bad. And I'm glad I picked it up. It was only a few bucks, so yeah, what the hell. And my stuff, Dark Throne with the Cold is Alive. Then I picked an album of uh, picked up an album of the Greek black metal band Astarte, and this is uh, the earlier work. Um, yeah, it's a second album actually, and yeah, I really did get some nice. Uh, there were some nice and bitty black metal. Uh, then uh, later on, later albums for more blackened melodic death metal band, in my opinion. Uh, not that that was bad, but I like the earlier albums more because of the darker sounding, more raw uh, stuff. Rise from within is his own calls, and this is released in 2000 by Black Lotus Records. I really can enjoy this stuff. Uh, it's an old female band if you don't know them. Not that it make any uh, doesn't does that it doesn't matter, but I think yeah, the music is good. So what the hell? Even the vocals are evil as fuck. And yeah, they do a great job with this album. Um, yeah, I like this stuff. Although I like the first album, uh, Doom to Dark Years, more because it's more black than this one. Um, yeah, but it's uh, this album has nine songs on it, um, which include three instrumental songs, and with the play time of 51 minutes, I can say this is a short album. Um, yeah, it's very adventurous. It's variety and um, and other one is uh, evil and sounding so yeah I did this um, rice from Berlin from Astarte from Greece pretty cool stuff then over to the last album and bands uh, YXM has already talked a lot about and don't have to talk a lot about just bands um, most of you will probably know this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you anyway. I picked up Drag, drag into Sunlight with um, Hatred for Mankind, released in 2009 by.
by North Rim Records. And this is a uh, black and deaf Danish band from the United Kingdom. And it's a great band. Very fucking evil sounding, heavy and raw as. Yeah, it, it will blow you away if you for, uh, play this for the first time. If you're not used to get used to, um, to very extreme music, um, you will be overblown by this. It's brutal, it's heavy, it's raw, it's, yeah, it's fucking vicious, man. I really enjoy this. I hate it for mankind, yeah. It's also released another album, Widowmaker. Also enjoyed that album, um, but I like this album more. Um, I picked up this CD version, um, but I can tell you if you want the vinyl, um, yeah, be prepared to pay a big load of fucking money. I looked on Discogs and the, album, the vinyl version goes for. Two hundred dollars. Yes, you heard it correct. Fucking absurd, you know. I picked this, just decided to pick up the CD. It was only eight bucks, so eight bucks or two hundred. Um, I'd rather pick up this one then. I'd rather have the vinyl, of course, but that price, I'm not gonna buy the vinyl. Sorry. So yeah. I'm glad I could find it on CD for a decent price, and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this uh, piece of music, and um, yeah, it's fucking amazing. Um, I hope the rumors are right about uh, Wired FM was talking about they were planning a new album for 2017, so that would be fucking amazing if they did. I really look forward to hear some more stuff by this great band from the UK and um, yeah, in the meanwhile I will enjoy this evil sound piece of uh, hate trips, fucking amazing stuff, hated for mankind by direct into sunlight, I definitely highly recommend you this album if you're really into extreme metal, great stuff. Um, yeah, almost the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this cool stuff. Um, in case you were wondering what I was, what I am playing in the background, to see here it's, it's Asian morning with culture. Very nice raw, nasty black metal. I talked about it in one of my earlier videos. Great fucking stuff. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching, um, liking, supporting in every way you did my channel, and I hope you discover some new music to uh, check out. Um, I can say I'm happy with this, and um, I will be happy with the final update. It will be coming soon, too, so yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, glad. I was, I was happy to make the first video of this year and um, hopefully it will be a great year for you all and um, hope to see you guys next video. Arrivederci. Ciao.